Hey everyone, this is Aussie Brick Collector here, and today I'll be comparing LEGO Toy Story's Woody's Roundup with LEGO Toy Story 3's Trash Compactor Escape. And I want to compare these two sets, like just talk about these two sets in general, and just compare them at the end, I'll like tell which one I like better. And the reason I'm like comparing the like Woody's Roundup specifically to like the Trash Compactor is because both of these sets are like the two uh, construction sets, like usually all, a lot of the other Toy Story sets are vehicle sets, these are like the two building sets. So we have uh, Woody's Roundup, which came out in 2009, December, technically a 2010 set still. And it's from the first Toy Story wave. This set came out in May 2010 to coincide with Toy Story 3. So let's talk about, let's look at each set individually and just look at uh, each thing of the set. So let's just start off with the prices of the set. Let's talk about the prices. So Lego Toy Story Woody's Roundup, you can see here has 502 pieces and retailed for $80 in Australia, which comes out to about 16 cents per piece, which is really good actually. I feel like Woody's Roundup was a really good set for $80 back in 2010. Like you can't get wrong with that. And if you could get this set on sale, that's even better. The Trash Compactor Escape set here has 370 pieces. So actually, uh, less pieces in Woody's Roundup. Woody's Roundup has 502 pieces. This set has 370 pieces and retail for 100 Australian dollars. So this set had less pieces, but was $20 more expensive than this. But as you can see, the Trash Compactor Escape uses a lot more larger parts than Woody's Roundup. And that's probably what makes up the whole, like why it's so large, but it just uses a lot more larger parts. Woody's Roundup uses a lot of one by four tile pieces. And of course they're not, Big. So Trash and Factor definitely uses a lot of large pieces, especially these pieces. You get 12 of those, and then you got these large panel pieces. You got the conveyor belt rubber thing here. You get a lot of large parts in the Trash Compactor Escape. Woody's Roundup, you don't get as many large parts as you do in the Trash Compactor. So $100 for this set, it's not that bad. Like I know the price per piece is 27 cents per piece, so it's not great. But the Woody's Roundup price for piece for $80, okay, that's really good. When it comes to current value of each of these LEGO sets, Woody's Roundup is more rare and hard to find than Trash Compactor Escape. Trash Compactor Escape is actually, you can get somewhere around the original price nowadays, secondhand on, on the second market, brand new until it's, it, it's funny. I just feel like, is it, is it because the set was unsuccessful? Well, in my opinion, I, I think it's an excellent set. I don't know why, but I looked at Brick Economy uh, recently, and you can get this brand new and sealed for like around $120, which is only $20 more than its original price. That's not bad. While Woody's Roundup goes for around like $160 nowadays. So this one definitely uh, rised up a lot in the price. This one, not really, and hasn't really much at these last few years. I don't know why. The Trash Compactor Escape probably just wasn't a successful set. I have no idea because I think it's a great set. All right, so we talked about the price, the pieces, and also got to, forgot to mention, both of the box sizes have the same length and the same height. It's just the Woody's Roundup, I mean, the Trash Compact box is a lot thicker. It's just a bit thicker in width than Woody's Roundup. That's because the set, of course, has a lot of larger parts. Like this set, though it has less pieces, it had five numbered bags, and this set had four numbered bags. All right, so we talked about that, and... Uh, now let's talk about the minifigures. So Woody's Roundup has four minifigures. You have Bullseye the Horse, Woody, Jesse, and Stinky Pete. This set only has one exclusive minifigure, which is Stinky Pete. But before the Toy Story 3 sets came out, Jesse and Bullseye were exclusive to Woody's Roundup. And then Woody also came in the RC set. The Trash Compactor Escape has minifigures with dirt strain markings, and both of these sets have Woody. So the two construction Lego like, Toy Story sets, neither of them have Buzz, but has Woody. So we have Lotso Huck and Bear, who also came in the Garbage Truck Getaway, so not exclusive. All the other four minifigures are exclusive because of the dirt strain markings, but of course the characters aren't ex exclusive, it's just the variants that are exclusive. So we have Woody with dirt strains, we have Ham, and then we have two different aliens. Now these are based on the sunny side... Uh, <laughs> Since they have like paint markings, that shows that they were played in Sunnyside and Dirt Strains because, you know, they were in the Trash Compactor. 
And also ham does have a little rubber stopper, so that's pretty cool. That has some coins inside. It makes it a little bit more of a you know, valuable set. Um, Woody, you can see only Woody and Watson don't have paint markings. It's because they won't play at Sunnyside while the aliens and ham were. So when it comes to minifigures, I think both sets have great minifigures. It's kind of hard for me to decide which set has better minifigures when both sets have a great minifigure selection, so I can't really decide where to go there. All right, both of these sets, just to point out, do have stickers. You can see stickers here, the signs, Goldmine, Jail, Sheriff, Jail, Wanted sign. This set has stickers here on the uh, incinerator and also stickers here. Now let's kind of look at the actual builds of the set. So we have the gold mine over here, which uh, is, we're just going to take a look at the play features. Um, Stinky Pete, you're meant to put Stinky Pete underneath here. Now I do have one hand holding the, phone, the camera, so I'm just doing my best. And what you're basically meant to do is you're meant to get these cylinder pieces and you just put them in that hole there and it's just meant to fall on Stinky Pete. You probably can't see it properly, but let me just take out Stinky Pete. Yep. Alright, yep, that's the gold mine. Also, you had like a snake, a box of uh, dynamite, and other accessories, a little trough, a bullseye, cactus. Then we have like the actual, uh, sh uh, you know, the building. And this is a western set, while the trash compactor is a, a, just a city set, you know, trash compactor is like things of human, but this is a western set. I love uh, just the overall look of Woody's Roundup. It looks very nice. Here's the back of it. You get a little money vault. Uh, this is one of the play features. So basically, the jail part here. Let's see, you open the door. You're meant to put Stinky Pete in the jail. I just don't, can't be bothered taking off his dynamite stick and uh, pickaxe. Close that. And you turn this. And this is a nice play feature, and you can bust that of the jail like that. That's a really nice play feature. Let me just put that back on. You can even disconnect uh, each of these sections of Woody's Roundup. And you can even open the door. Actually, inside, there really isn't nothing. There's just a desk for the sheriff. Of course, it's Woody. And I like this Toy Story 2 setting. This set is based on Toy Story 2. It's based on the Woody's Roundup TV show. You even have a little... Um, play feature here so you can put Stinky Pete and you can just launch it's meant to be a little catapult but of course he's got his accessories so basically it's just a little catapult and also the roof could come off so yeah that those are the play features for Woody's Roundup and I love this set as a kid I've always loved Woody's Roundup a lot it was like considered my favorite Lego Toy Story set, because I just loved this set, and also Toy Story 2 uh, was like my favorite Toy Story film, and this set was based on Toy Story 2, you know, with the four Woody's Roundup gang people, and just the overall set looked really nice, because it was a construction set, not a vehicle set, you know, I like getting building sets. The Trash Compactor has some amazing play features, so we have uh, this little... Um, so you have this platform where you're meant to put Lotso here. And uh, so basically, uh, this is the crane where the aliens rescue the toys. Of course, this is based on Toy Story 3. So yes, it is accurate. And you can just have the other alien just sitting here, standing here, I guess. So basically, uh, also, the play feature, you can, like, rotate the crane. The crane build is awesome. I, I'm a fan of this crane build. I really like it. And it's got a string as well. This is an amazing play feature as well. You can have a um, ham clipped onto it if I can do it with one hand. I don't think I can. You can even turn this up and down. And then... There we go. Let me just lift them up. <laughs> Yeah, so this set has some fun play features. Not only like that play feature, but also the actual trash compact play feature. So uh, you can put Woody here, and there's like these tan bricks. So you turn this um, steering wheel piece here, and everything will fall here. And then you turn this, and everything will fall into the fire. So just like Woody. Yep.
you see that is such a fun play feature it's like a non-stop fun play feature like this set is amazing especially since it's based on one of the dark scenes of toy story uh toy story 3 it's really just an amazing set and let's throw the little green alien in there as well and he's in there of course they don't actually go into the aliens rescue but you get the whole idea all right that's the comparison of woody's roundup and um the trash compactor escape now i'm gonna tell which lego set i like better and actually before i do tell you which one is my favorite let me know in the comments uh just guess which one i will say is my favorite because uh you guys might be surprised we'll see all right so i love both of these sets a lot i think the two, original 2010 sets they had 11 sets right these two sets are easily in my top five they are definitely in my top five so from the 11 sets these are in my top five yep I love both of these sets a lot. Woody's Roundup is great. I love everything about it. Just the overall set, like the design, even the small play features and minifigures. It's just a fun set. And it wasn't even fun to build. I love building like house styled sets, except it's on a house. You know, it's a unique Western set. And then we have the Trash Compact, which is like a city based set, you know. And uh, it was also fun building the set. I just built the set last month. And Woody's Roundup I've had since like 2019. So that was a long time ago. Trash Compactor has amazing play features, and of course Woody's Roundup is more valuable nowadays. The Trash Compactor probably didn't sell well, that's why it's like not that expensive if you want to get it on the second market. I don't know. Okay, my favorite set, which set do I like better? Okay, the set that I like better, and the set that's going to win for me, is going to be the Trash Compactor Escape. I just like this set better than Woody's Roundup. Just because I just love the play feature. I love, this is more of a play set while Woody's Roundup is more of a display set. But I love playing with this set, whether it be turning this, the conveyor belt, even the cool play features. And don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, Woody's Roundup, I love the set, but the Trash Compactor, I just gotta go with the Trash Compactor set. And where would I actually rank these from the 11 sets? Woody's Roundup, I'd rank 4th as my 4th favorite Toy Story set. While the Trash Compactor is probably my favorite Toy Story Lego set. I love this set. It's a great set. So, Trash Compactor wins. Sorry, Woody's Roundup, you're close, but you're still a great set. As long, oh, I mean, at least it's my 4th favorite Toy Story set. It's still in my top 5, but the Trash Compactor set is just better in my opinion. Even though people would say Woody's Roundup is better because it's just more rare i guess valuable but that's just uh my opinion so that is it for this comparison video which set do you like better from these two let me know in the comments um is it the trash compactor like that's my favorite or is it woody's roundup or else that's it for now and i'll see you guys later bye